guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nyjia here with Budgeting the Bacon, where I talk about how we save money, earn money, as well as us destroying our mortgage debt. And today's video is going to be our July fixed expenses closeout video. Excuse me, not July, June. June, I'm trying to rush it. As you all know, if you're not new to my channel, that I use this calendar first in order to lay out all of the bills that we have for fixed expenses. Now mind you, I'm showing you fixed expenses, but this is not like our sinking funds or our cash envelopes or anything like that. These are just the day-to-day -day things that we use and that we need in our, in our home for it to function. So it's basically like our bills and stuff like that that also if you're new to my channel we do not have any type of consumer debt we do have a mortgage debt that we are working to pay on so you won't see anything as far as like student loans or credit card bills or anything uh, or auto loans also we do have older vehicles that we drive and they work just fine so we're not really interested in getting like a car note or anything like that so just wanted to put that information out there just in case if you are new to my channel and this is the first time that you're actually watching my videos. Here I used a couple of different bill trackers, our payday trackers right here just as a little bit of a recap. My husband gets paid weekly, I get paid once a month. And so we're going to go ahead and go over to where the breakdown is of all of these things right here for our fixed expenses. Starting off at the top here, we have our income right here. This is not all of the income that we bring in for the month. This is the amount that we budget off of based off of our sinking funds, our cash envelopes, as well as the fixed expenses that you see here. It also includes the extra mortgage principal payments that we make also. Okay, so total for the amount budgeted, we have $4,791. That pretty much does not change whatsoever. And actually, I didn't put it over here on actual, but it's the same thing. I thought that we were going to be getting a refund from for our taxes. Ooh, was I surprised guys <laughs> so I put the lol right there didn't receive anything as a matter of fact we owed we owed the alphabet boys we went on ahead and paid them paid them gave them their money okay but I don't know if maybe some new tax laws you know got into place and changed or whatever the case may be because we were not able to actually get credit for a couple different things so well, we'll just we'll see what next year brings. Okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at this breakdown right here. All right. So for our mortgage, it was pretty much spot on. There was no difference, and that amount gets taken out every month. This does include our homeowners insurance as well as our property tax. Also, so we have the escrow. So for our auto insurance. Um, it was 176.49, which was like a difference of three dollars and fifty one cents from what was budgeted for Hulu. We budgeted six dollars and forty eight cents. That was spot on. No difference there. Baker Brothers budgeted ten dollars, and the actual amount was nine dollars and ninety nine cents. One cent difference. Wi-Fi internet service 101 was budgeted. $100.51 was the actual amount, difference of $0.49. Cents. Our mobile phones, $80, no difference there. We pretty much know that that's going to be set in the same, so we put zero. The electricity, which fluctuates a lot, we never know what it's going to be. We budgeted $160, however, we were very happy and surprised. It came up under $147.54. That was a difference of $12.46. 46 cents. Our water utilities, we budgeted $60 and that was $52.81, difference of $7.19. And then our security, um, it was $39 and then that we budgeted actual $38.97, difference of three cents in total. It was $23.69 difference, which was kind of like on the positive side, okay? For the for the budgeted amount for our fixed expenses, we had two thousand seventy five dollars and twenty five cents. Sorry about that. Didn't realize you guys weren't in frame. The actual amount 
that was spent was 2051 and 56 okay so put down here mortgage principal total that we applied was $1,502 and we didn't contribute anything to our emergency fund and my mid-year update will tell why for that that should be coming out soon so stay on the lookout for that and for our family vacation getaway that we just took that was we spent about one thousand eight hundred eighty dollars actually it was a little bit less than that but the extra money that i had left over from the vacation i went on ahead and put that in our back to school fund for our boys so that is pretty much the breakdown for june and how we fared guys if you happen to like this particular video please feel free to go ahead and give it a like also feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like any of the content on my channel and also feel free to give me a comment below how did your June turn out our June is great for our fixed expenses our cash envelopes and the sinking funds are a complete mess yeah. I don't even want to begin there, but um, for fixed expenses, it was fine. <laughs> so, all right, guys, until the next video, until the next time that we talk, bye.